this whole debacle of me cutting up my exhaust is because of a fender bolt. Let's go ahead, put exhaust on the car because we need exhaust. We all know the Coyote is capable of screaming and so you have to have something, right? For inspiration, I, I wore my Aldo Wilds t-shirt. All right, so the Y pipe is on the car. It's not rattling. <laughs> so we need to, I think what's gonna end up happening is we're, we're gonna hang on to the resonators. We're gonna clean those up, cut those off, clean them up, keep the resonators. Those are garbage and going away. But we're going to basically cut this right there and we're going to keep the tail section. The tail section is going to stay with the car same way it's set up for on the car. Now, we've got more piping to replace that section. And we got us some nice high quality MagnaFlow mufflers. And uh, yeah. So this is what's going to replace those guys. Then we also got some more uh, clamps and hangers in case we need it. All right, so we got our U. We have a second one. Kids, that's not Kool-Aid. But I think the plan might be to cut this guy up. Um, I could probably use a slip fit. Might make this convenience for at least one of the fits. Um, but I'm not going to need this part. And I might cut these into a 45s. So that I could... I don't know. Instead of like making a... Uh, like cutting it in half. Flip it to 180. And make it go up, left, turn. It'll be more free flowing. If it's a 45. I don't know why I did it. But I did do it. I came over by this fender while I was walking by it and I was just tapping and heard Oh boy. I swear. If this whole this whole debacle of me cutting up my exhaust is because of a Fender bolt. I swear. So just like before, we're gonna have a little bit of a cowboy kicker effect where it kind of like eh, outward. Um, I'm okay with that. People are probably gonna have a problem with that, but we did find a way to uh, connect it and send it under the axle. <clears throat> send car. I'm about to perform our little test um, of driving up the ramps, giving it load, see if we have the same rattle noise. If it's that fender bolt, I want to be ignorant of it. I don't want to know that it is or it isn't. Being that I tightened it up, gone and think to myself, it was the exhaust the whole time and I really needed to cut up my exhaust, buy the new muffler, buy the new button on all the clamp and all the weld back to it so i'm going to perform the test we're going to see if it rattles while the exhaust is not fully welded up and if we need to make adjustments we will underneath i can fit my hand like i can fit my hand all around the piping between the floorboards other components the rear axle all the way back to the tailpipe without further ado Let's see if we got a rattle. Sounds good. I gotta do this. 
got them all welded up I'm gonna let them cool down and then we're going to install onto the car and call this Benito. All right, so it sounds pretty good. Obviously, I'm cruising maybe 1,700 RPM right now. love with the sound of the new exhaust on the Mustang. One, there's no rattles. Two, the mufflers sound great and it sounds incredible when you're cruising and it's low where you want it. There's no drone. I don't I don't have drone or the drone's not bothering me. Um, but wide open throttle, oh, you hear you hear the symphony going. It sounds so much better. I will never go cheap on mufflers ever again. I've learned my lesson. So these are the Magnaflow, uh, you know, flow through mufflers. Incredible, incredible. So finally got this done. I have a huge mess in the garage to pick up, reorganize, but I'm gonna let you guys go. Make sure you hit a like, comment down below. Let me know how you think the exhaust sounds. And uh, if you're new here, why don't you think about subscribing? I will see you guys later.